Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 6th of 2020 well, it is titled Mars Approach 2020. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a number of images of Mars and in fact, 10 of them from March the 3rd through September the 26th. And one thing you will notice is that Mars has significantly changed in size over about almost seven months worth of time. And you can see how small and indistinct it was back on March 3rd, very uh, tiny, and how it has grown over the time uh, as that has passed. So you can see that as we went into July and August, it got larger and larger. And then finally, September 26th, even larger. And if you could add an image for today for October the 6th, this will be Mars will appear at its largest and brightest. So if you look out into the night sky, you see a bright reddish object, you may likely be seeing the planet Mars. Now Mars gets this big and bright about every two years, and that's when it approaches opposition. Now opposition is about a week away still. Opposition is when Mars is exactly opposite to the sky in the sky to the sun. Now opposition is generally considered closest approach when they are closest together. However, because the orbits are elliptical and not circular, they don't occur at quite the same time. So it's actually tonight when Mars will be at its biggest and brightest. Now don't go out there looking and expecting to see the actual disk of Mars as you can see in these observations, because all you'll be able to see is a bright red star like object. And that's because even at its biggest Mars will be more than 100 times smaller than the full moon. So it's still very tiny by comparison to something like our moon, but is going to be at its largest and its best view through a small telescope. And as you look at it, you can actually see some of the features, the light and dark features that we see across the surface of Mars that are easily visible through a telescope and that early astronomers more than 100 years ago may have thought were vegetation as the the uh, colorings came and went with the Martian seasons. So you can see the polar caps would grow and shrink with the seasons and perhaps the other colorings were Martian vegetation. We now know they are just different colorings in the soils and all the changes are caused by the fact that there are great dust storms on Mars that can churn things up and change the surface features from what we are used to seeing. And that's why we see some different features even when we look at exactly the same face of Mars. So a chance tonight if you can get out and see Mars at its biggest and its brightest for at least another couple of years. So that was our picture of the day for October the 6th of 2020. It was titled Mars Approach 2020. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.